Welcome back. It's time now for Media Watch. James Creighton's here. We have a bit of controversy on our hands tonight, don't we? Le Mans' London correspondent claims that Goldman Sachs has developed a network of influential figures across Europe, which includes the new head of the European Central Bank. It's a sense of conflict of interest. It's pretty extraordinary stuff. Uh, page two of Le Mans today, uh, the, free ma the European Freemasonry of Goldman Sachs. And what they mean by Freemasonry is the way in which the Freemasons operate. is It's a network. Mm -hmm. And Goldman Sachs essentially, according to the London correspondent, I mean, it's pretty difficult to refute what he says, have put in place a network across Europe. Who does that include? You've got Mario Draghi. Let's have a look at his photo here online. Uh, he is uh, the former... He's the new head of the European Central Bank, former vice president of Goldman Sachs Europe. You've also got uh, the current prime minister, uh, unelected prime minister of Italy. That's Mario Monti. He was a former uh, advisor to Goldman Sachs uh, from, uh, I think, 2005 up until the point when he was made prime minister. You've also got the prime minister of Greece uh, by the name of Lucas Papa Papademos. Papademos. And he uh, was a former head of the, European, of the Greek Central Bank uh, at the time when Greece came into the Eurozone. Now, what they're saying here is uh, the, the figures that Greece, Greece presented, we've been hearing this for a long time now, that the figures were, were, were not honest. And in fact, it seems that Goldman Sachs helped Greece to uh, present a better face to the world uh, through f very complicated financial instruments known as swaps. This was a financial instrument that uh, Goldman Sachs uh, helped Greece to conceal its debt that's been, with. That's since been referred to as lies and manipulation by various observers since, hasn't it? But it's what's extraordinary is that uh, the, the Greek Central Bank was, I suppose, complicit with Goldman Sachs in concealing the true extent of Greek debt. And you had Lucas Papademos at the head of the Greek Central Bank at that time. And uh, so he, they, 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 he goes through various other figures. You've also got this guy, a former European commissioner, an Irish man by the name of Peter Sutherland. He helped to place Mario Monti, who is now the Prime Minister, at the head of the Trilateral Commission, according uh, to Le Monde. That's a key inner circle for the global elite. So what you're seeing here uh, in this article is a list of names of people who have very close associations with Goldman Sachs, who have very senior positions, either in central banks or at government level in several different European so countries. So Goldman Sachs, Freemasons, all linked together, and Le Monde basically going public on it and saying the, this Le Mans is going public the on the whole thing. And what, what's interesting is uh, the, their London correspondent, a guy by the name of Mark Roach, or Mark yeah. Rush, he wrote a book called The Bank, yeah. How Goldman Sachs Rules the World. Now, it won the French book, uh, Business Book Award in 2010. So he's not somebody who's a, a sort of a wacky conspiracy no, theorist. He's a, a, he's, he's a serious journalist. He's a serious journalist. He's been a yeah. guest on France Van Cat. You know, I'm not saying we agree or disagree with what he's saying, but, you know, he's, he's a man he's whose a reputation guy. is good. Absolutely. You know, he's, not, he's not crazy. And he, he goes into great length at this article, in this article, which is well worth reading for those who do read French, saying uh, that uh, since 1986, Goldman Sachs has been extending into the European market, of course, originally an American bank, and they have targeted former European commissioners and former managers at central banks throughout Europe uh, to work on their behalf. And they often don't tell the people who they're dealing with that they are actually associated with Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs then perhaps allegedly has access to information which is favourable. It's, it's very, uh, very serious charges, but very well laid out. Okay, very you've well, been reading Le Mans, yeah. you've also been watching television from Lebanon. <laughs> you like this one. Uh, this is a pretty amazing stuff. Uh, he, this is a battle, a battle, well, a fight at least, between Mustafa Alouche. Now, he is an anti-Syrian Lebanese MP, and uh, the head of the Lebanese branch of Syria's ruling Ba'ath party, Fayez Shakur. They don't like each other very much. Let's have a look what happened. They ended up rowing very seriously, throwing water at each other. <laughs> the presenter got in the, got in the way. A chair was picked up. <laughs> it got pretty nasty. That was uh, that was last night on on Lebanese television. More exciting than France 24, it has to be said. Unless wow. unless I picked a chair up or something. Well, I did I think intellectually, I think we're very stimulating. But if you'd like uh, J J James and I to throw some chairs around, you know, do let us know by email. I'm sure we can arrange it. <laughs> James Creighton, as ever. Thanks, Mark. With uh, Media Watch. Ha, 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 ha.